Hello guys. How are you doing today? Looks like I might have that frame around my video again and I don't know how to stop it. Oh, but anyway, we're going to try this. I wanted to share with you what I've been doing and check in on y'all and see how you have been doing how y'all making it in this <clears throat> pandemic and wondering if you have been shut in has your state um called a shut in ours has and so <sighs> Monday was, I think it's two weeks I have not been out of the house, so it's been almost three weeks since I've been out of the house. I went, um, this past Monday, two weeks ago, I went and picked up groceries, and since then I haven't been out of the house. My husband's been doing the grocery shopping for me. He still has to go to work. His job is considered a a central job so he has to still go to work and so he said since he has to go out anyway there's no need for me to go out uh, so whenever we need something he just runs to the grocery store and picks it up we've been having um, online services uh, at the church where my hubby and uh, the musicians, they meet there and have the service online on Facebook. So if any of you would be interested in that, on Sundays and Thursdays, Sunday afternoons and Thursday nights, um, Thursday night at 7.30, Sunday afternoon at 2, we have a Facebook um, church service, and I always share it. So you, if you're my friend on Facebook, um, you can find it there on my page so anyway I wanted to share that with you and I wanted to share with you what I've been doing most of you know that lately I've been doing junk journals and things like that planning in my planner doing my memory planner um, just different things like that I haven't been doing like 12 by 12 or uh, scrapbook pages lately or even I haven't been doing the project life right now I don't know I've just kind of got into this um, junk journaling I've just kind of been enjoying getting messy <laughs> see my hands and I think they just turn out awesome guys this is a journal and I may have already shown you portions of it it's been a while since I've done a video but I made this journal completely out well I say completely the base of it was completely out of junk mail. And then this paper here um, is like, it's like a, um, it was a scrapbook, 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper from uh, Stamping Up's older collection. I don't think they have it anymore. But it's like it's a, a dictionary page. And uh, so I decorated the outside of my journal with that and then with some uh pictures from a magazine and some stickers from my stash and some glitter glue and I just did some stamping on it and made it look old and vintage and um, put it on what I had for my uh, cover that's junk mail and like I said this the base of this is made completely from junk mail and I think it turned out really good so on this page I put for the background paper, that's actually a pattern. You know, the pattern, uh, if you sew, you know how the pattern paper feels that has the pattern printed on it. That's what the background paper is. The heart pockets is a challenge that I did in a group that I'm in on Facebook. And then I just stuck some cards in there uh, in the pockets. Um, this here was also a... Uh, now, the background here is just a page out of a, a magazine, and then I um, 
Uh, this one I think I just... This one I did from on Jelly Plate, I think. I just had orange paint on there, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, the, the background paper, I might have inked it up. I can't remember. But it was uh, just from um, a magazine. And then the challenge here was to take an envelope and make three things out of it. So I made a pocket. This bookmark I had already made for a previous challenge and so I just stuck it there in the pocket uh, the other things that I got out of this envelope here I, and I just inked up the envelope and made it look really old put some stickers on it but let me find real quick the other items I made from that envelope if I still have them in here um, uh, I know I made one a couple of things Let's see. Okay, I made this ATC card. See that the lines is the inside of the security envelope. See, there's the back side of the envelope. I didn't do anything to it. I made an ATC card with it. And put stickers on it and some glitter glue. And I stuck that in the pocket. And then this pocket here come from also from that envelope. And I just made a tuck pocket with it and decorated it up, made it look vintage by inking it up. So that's the three thing, three things I got from this one envelope. Okay, now this here, uh, this side is the front side of an, an old um, envelope that a card, a birthday card or something came in. And I used the card in my journal. I mean the envelope in my journal so I just decorated up my envelope with pictures from magazines this here was some like tissue paper that I put on the inside I have washi tape here I actually decorated it according to a challenge we had to put five different items like um, we had to put um, words and let uh, letters and um, numbers and orange and an animal and washi tape and there was, oh maybe water I can't remember there was three about three about five different things we had to do then these ATC cards that I made was also a challenge in one of the groups where we had to make uh, three collage cards ATC cards just using uh, bits of paper about the size of our thumb. We had to tear them off and make a collage on three different cards and then decorate it like we wanted to. So this one just says happy mind, happy life and it has perfect, perfect right there. So I just set that right there in the middle. This one here says you're the best good um I can't tell now what good times sorry that script I had forgotten what it said and it the way it's wrote it was hard to tell what it was but it says good times so I made that one and I'm just sticking these here in this pocket and then this one goes this way it's a fox die cut I had I put hello friend and the die cut has like a little bird on sitting on his nose and so I'm just putting that in there now, as you can see, here's some envelopes and just pieces of paper that I had done some, um, what this was for, I, I had to test my printer to make sure it was working after changing ink or doing something to it. And then here, these lines, I was trying to do what Pam, one of the, um, administrators, I guess you'd call it, of one of the groups. Uh, was showing us how we could make lines to write on. And I was trying to make one big enough that would fit that I could do lines in my planner, in my happy planner. And it's just, what it is is you just take a stamp and you wrap some rubber bands around it and then you stamp with the stamp upside down and the ink just gets on the rubber bands and makes the lines. But these rubber bands are really a little bit wider 
lines than what I really wanted. I just want kind of like the rolled up rubber bands, not the flat ones. And I actually have them spaced too close together. Uh, so I'm going to have to redo that. But that's what the, all the stamping was, was I was trying, trying that out. So when I get ready to work on these pages, I will just cover these pages with however I'm going to decorate it. This was an envelope, so I will leave that open as a pocket. Um, this here is just a, a portion, like the end of an envelope, that's somewhere in here in one direction. Well, if it's on this side, it's going to be over in this direction. Okay, this was just uh, a letter my sister wrote me, and I used it. Uh, I did some um, jelly painting. Is that what you call it? Um, on that paper and put it in there. And that's where I put that tuck pocket from that envelope and the ATC from the portion of that envelope. That's the back side, of, or actually the front side of that letter that my sister wrote me. This here is just some junk mail that's come in the mail. That's that other side of that or of another paper that I had used checking my printer out. This here, I was going to use this as a journal front. I started out to make and um, so I decided to put it in here as a page. It was an envelope that I just cut open, has the window and I put this uh, card behind it. I'm going to kind of grunge this card up a little bit. Uh, when I get to that so it'll be more grungy showing through that uh, window to match the page better then I will decorate this side this will be grunged up it says I need a cupcake it's actually a little card that someone sent me in, in uh, some embellishments some die cuts that I had purchased and um, they sent me this little card and that's the front part of the card this little piece here is a little piece from an envelope. And I didn't mention with this one, I will decorate these up somehow. Just grunge them up and decorate them. Maybe stamp on them or something. So they will be decorated up and not just stalk white. That's a portion of another page that I uh, used. I think I cut like two different papers in half to put in here in my junk journal. This here is just a paper. Actually, I think it was my mother's uh, medication list, her outdated medication list. And so I just took, um, this was a challenge. I had to do a collage according to a challenge. Had to have something with water, the col uh, cover color of lavender, a business card, a soft color, um... And there was something else. I can't remember. It was like five different things. That I had to put on there. But anyway. That's just things from magazines. And business cards and things. So that's the back side of it. I'll have to do that. This here. Is another challenge that I did in that group. And it's just one envelope. But it has four pockets. A pocket here, a pocket, ah, it went down in there. I get it. Sorry guys. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. It's got that pretty little picture of that little girl. A pocket there. So that's one, two pockets. Here is um, just a tag that I made. It says, Life is about using the whole box of crayons. And it has uh, pictures of crayons I did embossing, heat embossing on it. So that's three pockets. Uh, this is just a little um, ephemera piece I stuck up under the yeah, <laughs> paper clip. And then this here is going to be the fourth pocket. See, if it was the envelope itself, you would have cut open the top part, and that would have been one, two, three, four, and you could have slid a longer item down inside the pocket. But 
It's actually a little bit bigger than my page, as you can see, and I will grunge that side up when I decorate this page. But it's a little bit longer than the page, so I really didn't, I didn't think about it. I still could have done it and stuck it behind there, but my thinking was I would do the side pocket. So I just, hush Lucy, I glued it around these three edges, like this. Instead of around it like this and it's sliding that way, it's going to slide in this way. I haven't fixed anything yet to go in there, but I will. I'll get to that. Then as you can see, this here is envelopes. Listen, Lucy. I'm going to use that for a pocket. Lucy. This is actually the middle of my um junk journal it is an envelope that i will be decorating that will be the pocket this is just going to be a little flap that i'll decorate on both sides just to be pretty and here's another envelope that i'm going to decorate and use and that's where i glued i just yeah i glued this envelope to this envelope to make it one big page so I'll be decorating that. Uh, this is the other side of my mama's uh, paper that had her medications on it. This is the back side of those other little pages that I showed you. Here's another envelope that someone had. Actually, this is the lady that makes the die cuts that I purchased from. This envelope, she sent me a pack of die cuts in. And so I'll be decorating that up, and that's a pocket. Uh, that's the back side of the card that she sent me. She had like a just a card inside there, a removable card. I guess so I could use that card if I wanted to. But, and I am using it. I'm using it in my junk journal. <laughs> and then this here is that back side of that page that I was going to do uh, for the cover of a junk, junk journal. There's some more pages. That's the back side of a junk mail that's come in. That's the bottom part of that letter from my sister. I'll decorate that and make that a page. This is that envelope I was showing you just a little portion of on the other side of the signature. And I have a pocket. It'll be decorated. Um, this side has got them puppies. I'm probably just going to grunge it up a little bit and maybe add a little... A uh, few stickers around here. I may even kind of just cut that and make that a tuck. I don't know. I'll just have to wait and see when I get to that. That's a little portion of an envelope that I'll just grunge up and decorate up. Here's another envelope that was junk mail. Actually, it wasn't junk mail. It was probably a Christmas card from my sister. Yeah, I think it was. That's what her Christmas card come in she sent us. So I'm using that. Here is the back cover. And what this, the back cover, what I was using for my cover, like I was showing you this. It's a, a one of those thicker papers. It's a flower, like, that you get. Uh, it was, I don't remember if I actually got it in the mail or if it come in one of my kits when I was selling, um, some diet pills or that coffee the smart coffee that's what it was um it was just a flyer from that and so that's what i used as my cover uh and you know then i'll decorate this side and naturally the back side's already decorated so the junk mail is just giving me the base and then i decorate it how i want it Maybe cover it with scrapbook paper or uh, grunge it up, you know, with inks or paints or whatever. Um, you know, just fix it how I want it. And I'm really, really enjoying that. So what I've actually been doing today is working on some embellishments to actually put in my junk journal. To use in my junk journals, to use scrapbooking i can use the scrapbooking um whatever i have some script ones this says life's most beautiful things are not seen with the eyes but felt with the heart and i've got three of those this says we make a living by what we get 
We make a life by what we give, and I stamped that twice. Miracles happen to those who believe, have courage, be kind. And then these little boxes here, like cloud boxes, if you can dream it, you can do it. And so um, I made a couple of um, postcards or either just cards that I might want to uh, stick in maybe a pocket of my journal or something for uh, maybe journaling cards. Um, I just took my stamps and just stamped on the on one side of them and just made them pretty. To me, they're pretty. Uh, here's some more of the stamps I've already read to you. Um, and then a couple of the little cameras. Um, then there, here's another of the wording. And then this here is a vintage camera, a bigger size. Um, then here's some more. Um, this is Key to My Heart, and that's the be, uh, Have Courage, Be Kind. And then I have two of the Vintage Globes there. And then this here is some more uh, of the same stamp, wording stamps that I've already read to you. I'm going to cut these out to use. Um, you know, tuck them in places or, uh, you know, just use them in my journals or scrapbooking or card making or whatever. I'll cut them out where they'll be nice. I tried it on this paper. I didn't like it too well on this side because you really can't see too good what it says with all that jumbly. Now, this side it done pretty good, but I only stamped it twice on that color paper. Um, now, some of these uh, are going to be good as they are, like uh, this one here is grungy enough, this one here, I hope you're seeing that, I may not even be holding it in, in the camera, this here I won't have to do anything else to, um, probably won't have to this one, um, let's see. These uh, postcards, I probably won't do anything with them. Um, now, down here, the end part of this page kind of looks grungy. The, this section here, I probably won't have to do anything else with it but cut them out. But these over here, it kind of gets away from the grungy look. So I may have to add a little bit more to that. Uh, so all of these don't need anything to it, but then these... These like this, that's the bright, um, you know, that I may add a little ink to it to make them look more older, uh, more grungy. I'll just have to see as, you know, time comes what I'll be using them for. On this one here, some more of those little Dream It uh, sayings. And then I, um, I love, I love this stamp. And I can't even tell you what's on it. It's, it kind of looks like it's a book. I'm not even sure what direction to hold it in. I'm thinking this is the way, the right way. But on this side of the page, the writing is going up and down this way. On this side, it's going this way. But I just love that it looks like a vintage book. Uh, I'm going to try to just cut around it close to the edge of these. And I won't have to do anything else to them but cut them out. But it's the vintage camera, a book, a vintage suitcase, the old vintage key, the vintage globe, and then the little bitty camera. Now, this little camera, I'm thinking I'm going to, yep, that's the perfect size punch. I'm just going to punch it out on, as little circles to use. So, all of these... Uh, I, like I said, I love the suitcase. Then we have the ship, which I really like. On this one is the camera, the suitcase, and the globe. And the globe and the little bitty camera that I can punch out with this circle punch. Might as well go ahead and do that while i am got it in my hands. 
I love the ship, I mean the train, but you can't see it real well because I stamped it on, it has like a textured side on this cardstock, and that's the side I stamped it on, and it doesn't really show it real plain, but it's good for junk journal, for, you know, grungy looking stuff. Again, the train and the globe. Suitcase, the book, the globe, the key, the vintage camera, and then the little bitty camera. That's not as vintage, but not as vintage as the bigger one. Then I have the ship and the train. And as you can see, I love that book. I've done quite a few of the book. <laughs> this whole thing is the book. Two more cameras. And I thought this turned out awesome, guys, on this piece of pattern paper. It's just a subtle, uh, swirly background. It looks grungy and old. And so I stamped. I started to stamp the third ship, but it really was too close to everything, so I didn't go ahead and stamp it out. But two trains and two ships on that. I think that turned out really good. So that's what I've been working on, and I'm going to get to cutting these out and trimming them up. I just wanted to share with you what I've been doing. I wanted to check in with y'all and see if you all were okay and what y'all have been doing to occupy your time during this time of lockdown. If you're still locked down, uh, if you are essential workers that you're having to still go out and work and all of this, my prayers are with you. Uh, I wish you the best. I hope everything turns out well. Keep me informed how you are. And um, I hope you all are doing well. So, uh, I will let you go for now. And I will talk with you, all of you good people later. Bye.